All right. <laughs> Figure a way for a couple people to get in the room first before I start. <laughs> First of all, how's everyone doing today? If you guys did not see the intro, this is going to be a live video for a giveaway of a fragrance from, or a set of fragrances from January Scent Project. Um, the way I'm gonna do this video as follows. I thought this would be really cool to try to do a live review, interact with people, I'm gonna put, time aside for people to ask questions and I'll respond. But I'm gonna first talk about, what's going on Chad? I'm gonna first talk about the fragrance in the house a little bit and you know, see how this goes. I think this will be really cool to interact with you guys while I do a review. So you guys can ask questions and whatnot. I'm gonna save questions for the end and then I'm gonna give the giveaway info at the end as well. Today we are talking about January Scent Project. Let me shut my laptop off. We are talking about January Scent Project. If you remember a couple weeks ago, January Scent Project's John Beeble was awesome enough to send me a bottle of this fragrance right here called Salpertigu. He sent me this bottle and then he also sent me his sample kit. Well, John knew what he was doing because in that sample kit, when I tried it out, I was blown away. So, I bought the rest of the line. I bought all four, or the rest of the three of the whole four line of January Scent Projects fragrances. They are that good to me. <laughs> I swear, John is, really knows what he's doing when he's coming to his senses. The, the crazy thing is he is self-taught. Uh, I'm going to tell a little bit about John. John was uh, a writer for Fragrantica. He's an artist. He does uh, paintings and he wrote for Fragrantica and he decided that he wanted to make his own line of fragrances. Very unique, very well composed. Um, his newest release was that person knew. The release before that was Smolder Rose, then he did Salpernicu, and then, how's it going, Bernie? And then, this is the one that we're talking about today. January Sense Projects, Eider Antler. Look at the color. You cannot get this, you, you can't, it doesn't process well on the, on the video, but this is an amazing green color, and this is gonna be one of my favorite scents to wear period this spring this is such an amazing set first of all the, the the bottles are pretty cool they're awesome bottles these tops are very unique if you guys can see really cool and the art that's done on the january scent projects bottles are actually a uh it's actually inspired by the actual paper itself is inspired by wine bottle and it's really got a nice texture to it. And the art that's on there was actually painted by John himself. He does all the paintings. This is a Eau de Parfum concentration. The great thing about it is January Scent Project, they have the regular 100 mil bottles, which I believe go for 165 bottles, $165. But these are going for, I believe, 65 the last time I checked. And then... Also, what you can choose to do is you can choose to buy three of whichever fragrances you want and you get those for 150 bucks. You wind up you wind up saving like 60 bucks and it, that is just phenomenal. It's a great way to discover the house. Eider Antler, it is a, if you look at this, just the color alone explains a lot of what you're going to get with this. It is so beautiful. It is a Fougere fragrance, but not in your classical, but in your classical sense. It's modern, but classic at the same time. It opens up with notes of lavender, which is a nice, nice, nice. You get this barbershop kind of feel to it. And it just really green and beautiful smelling. The price points are great. You're right, Bernie. And it's just the quality that goes in these, the lavender, comes in and also mixes well with uh, uh, the 
green notes that are in this. Some of the notes are champaca flower, uh, moss, nice, nice, nice vetiver, the lavender. It's just so well composed. Thank you. Thank you, James. Um, you get, and he, he said that with this fragrance, he wanted to get and capture sort of the, the fougere fragrance, but also take a green quality like a, I think it was Ivy. And that's another note that's in this is Ivy as well. He wanted to take like you were actually crushing Ivy leaves and capture that within this fragrance. And you definitely, definitely see these fragrances are all so, so well composed. And it is just a great, great scent performance on them it is phenomenal on <laughs> all the ones from the house i'm not trying to hype anything about that you know i think you guys know better than that that i'm not a hype beast kind of person but these are just done so so well you get over 10 plus hours on the skin with about two and a half to three hours of solid projection before it starts to slowly settle down into a skin scent it it just it, it slowly brings itself in but you still get this amazing sillage an amazing central and like i said like i said in the beginning of the video yeah he sent me the bottle superticu which was great on his part but when i smelled the samples i just had to have these myself and you know what i don't see even see these 30 ml bottles lasting that long i'm gonna probably have to upgrade to the 100 ml eventually like i said 10 hours great for springtime projection is great you're gonna smell really really unique with his fragrances and his offerings i'm gonna do more reviews uh, i wanted to test try doing this live review thing out i'm gonna do more reviews on the upcoming fragrances as well but i really wanted to touch base on this because it's springtime look at that juice so beautiful the bottle the the, the cool top is just reminiscent of like this diamond in the rough kind of look you know what i mean and that's how i feel about this fragrance this is a diamond in the rough like no not that many people talk about this it's been out for about i think he the the conception of the house was around 2017 if i'm not mistaken but let's talk about what i said in the title the title says giveaway I love this house so much that not only did I purchase these bottles, I wound up and purchased the whole sample set lineup as well. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to share it with one of you guys. Um, that's how much I like these. That's how much I, I want somebody else to experience these fragrances as well. The, the, the whole pack comes with these about like, two two and a half mil nice size sample sprayers of all four of the fragrances plus it comes with a little one mil sample i think of smaller roses original conception which was a fragrance oil it wasn't even a perfume it's a it's a fragrance oil that's in that which is phenomenal phenomenal smelling as well it's a little bit different than the smaller rose eau de parfum he, uh, he changed the composition a little bit, but the oh, perfume is just as beautiful. I will be doing a review of that soon. I promise. I promise because these are just so, so good. So I'm going to be giving this out. The cool thing is it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. He actually puts his own little sample, uh, sample card sprayers in there too. And he puts these awesome pieces of his own artwork in there too. This is the one for Smolder Rose. He's painted all of these. This is how talented this person is. He's painted all these. This is the one for Vipersadu. Really, really cool. This is the one for Eider Antler, the one that I'm talking about. And the one for Sal Pernicu I have up there. And like I said, when you order the box of three... It comes in this cool box, nicely textured, has this little nice piece of artwork that John made himself. John Beeble is just so, so talented. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'll admit, he's, he's, he's become a, a friend throughout the groups. I, I met him on Facebook, and he's become a good friend. But you know what? I wouldn't 
if I didn't believe in the products, I wouldn't have bought them myself. And I have the receipts to prove that if you guys need that. But it's just, they're just so well composed. And I'm going to stand by something that I believe in and something that I love and something that I would like to share. That's why I bought this sample kit. That's why I bought the sample kit because I want one of you guys to get this. So what are we going to do for the giveaway? Because John was nice enough to send me the first bottle of Supernico. I'm going to do something for him because he's that cool. What I want you guys to do is go to January Scent Project's Facebook page or Instagram page if you do not have a Facebook. And I want you to like and follow January Scent Project. Just like and follow January Scent Project. Then go on January Scent Project's website. Look up the fragrances that he has to offer. The Sapernicu, Smolder Rose, Eider Antler, Reverse and and the Smolder Rose Fragrance Oil. See what he has to offer and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be posting this video after this live feed. Leave a comment down below on which fragrance mostly intrigues you. Mostly intrigues you. Um, you don't have to say the one that I just did this little review on. Go and check out ones yourself. Let me know which ones appeal to you. And then comment down below. It's going to take a little bit for this video to post. Um, so since this was a live feed, my initial thing was I was going to answer some questions too. If anybody had any questions about the fragrances, about me in general. <laughs> Thanks, Bernie. Thanks. You know, if so if you guys have any questions, you know, now's the time. Um, yeah, everything's been going pretty cool. Um, that Pacific Rock Moss video I put out got a lot of hits for a video that I put out. Utter Antler was the best of my nose. That's right, Nigel, you tried them as well, didn't you? You tried them, I, I remember. Oh, no, it spilled, no. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Pacific Rock Moss video. A fragrance that's been getting a lot of hype. Like I said, these are just my experiences. Um, I guess some people might have gotten offended too by what I had to say um, in the comments. Um, but the way that it happened, the way that it was with me, was Pep was good enough to give it to me. And we, we, you know, we both we both value each other's opinions. Pep's a great guy. I really appreciate what he's done for me, and he's a good friend. Um, and it's gotten a lot of views on my channel this video and some people because they blind bought it I guess have this blind buy biased thing going on and it's something that I've been guilty of doing as well you get something and it's expensive you spend money on it and when you get it it's not as phenomenal but you try to convince yourself that it is because you spend so much money on it, you don't want to be wrong. That's something that I've been calling a blind buy biased. It happens, you know, it happens. Um, and you know what, maybe, maybe the fragrance does, maybe they do love this fragrance or maybe it does. And I'm not judging anybody on what they like. What you like is what you like. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Nobody should tell you otherwise. And don't let anybody else's opinion sway yours because that's, your opinion is your opinion. That's what makes you you. That's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of this whole hobby. You know, we're all going to have different opinions. We're all going to think different things are beautiful. Um, I hope that you guys think that these fragrances are beautiful because, you know, like these are, it's just something I, I believe in, you know what I mean? And it's, it'd be really cool. Eider Antler is awesome. Some frags are very unique and it is a hit on my hit list for sure. Definitely, Nigel, you know, you know, Nigel, too, you you too, man. You've been you've been putting out some great stuff, man. You've been putting out some amazing content and a lot of fragrances that I haven't tried myself. It's really refreshing to see your channel and it's really refreshing to see your view. And you have such an amazing personality, an amazing just form of comedy too. I know that you, I, Chris, we all there's a bunch of us out there that try to incor incorporate a sort of lighthearted nature within our videos, you know, and you know, because that's what this is. This is a lighthearted thing. Who wants to be miserable wearing fragrances? Who wants to be mean wearing fragrances? That's not. I, that's a, that's a waste of my time. You know what I mean? That's 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 how I see it. Do any of you guys have any questions about any of the January Sun projects? I mean, I could talk about other ones if you want. I have them right here. 
Um, like I said, there's smaller rollers, so Pernicule. I'm probably going to do full reviews of them later. If you have a little couple short little questions, I'm more than willing to answer them. Um, so yeah, within this whole thing, you'll receive like the samples, you'll receive the cards, you'll receive a thank you card. There's just so much stuff in here. You guys, it's just going to be... It's gonna be really cool gift for somebody out there. Like I said, just make sure you follow those rules. Go follow January Sun Projects, Instagram, Facebook. Tell me in the bottom, as soon as this video posts, which fragrances you would like to try. I am sweating. You have no idea, but there is a, I'll show you guys. There is a lighting system that I have set up right there. And that thing emits a lot, a lot of heat. But, Send you the samples. James, follow the rules and you will definitely have the possibility. Is Eider Antler. Eider Antler, you know what? That is seasonally, it, it, seasonally right now it is. And there's another one that is my absolute favorite, which is Smaller Rose. They're all great and it's hard to say which one's a favorite. But if I had to pick two, spring and summer would be Eider Antler. Um, I think they're out of New England area, Bernie, and Smolder Rose is probably my fall winter. This is another excellent performer, has a crazy, smoky, jammy, but green rose. It's such a unique scent. It's uh, this green, it's so weird to say, but a crisp, crisp rose, and it's just, this is... Ma this is masculine. This is feminine. It's just such the juxtaposition of just how the fragrance was developed. So unique. All of them are really unique. That's why I purchased the whole line. That's why I purchased the whole line. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put my own money to buy these if it wasn't something that I wanted. And I did. I wanted to have every single one. And so I decided to go with, like I said, the thirty mil bottles. You get three of them for one. 50, I believe it is, which you save a lot of money that way. So you get three of whatever ones you want to pick. So if you were to pick two, let's say, let's say if you pick two, it would only be 30 more dollars for you to try get another full bottle. And then if you wanted to do that way to discover, check them out, really try them out. Then if you decide you really want them, which <laughs> I'm going to end up doing this eventually, you can buy the 100 mil bottles, which go for 165. Really, really cool. What's going on, Josh? How you doing, man? Yeah, so it's just... They're such a really unique house. I hope that you guys check them out. I hope that you guys look at his site. John is a really, really cool guy. I'm sure that if you hit him up on his January Scent Project Facebook or his January Scent Project Instagram, he'll answer any other questions that you have as well. These, it just, it's, it's something that I think would have been best if you guys saw live my reaction to this. How's it going, Nancy? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be great if you guys saw my live impression because these are just such good fragrances. Um, right now, we have a question and answer thing. So you guys can ask what I was talking about, about the fragrance, about the house, um, stuff about me, whatever you guys want. This is all for you guys if you guys want to learn some stuff about me in general. Nothing that interesting to be honest so i don't know what kind of questions you guys would have but you know i thought it'd be cool to interact with you guys live on a video um yeah the uh what i was talking about for those that might have just entered is the january scent projects sample line um i'm gonna be giving this away um if you guys remember i bought <laughs> tell us everything about your whole life short the uh the January Sun Projects uh John Beeble sent me Salpernicu. Um and then he sent me the sample kit. I trusted the fragrances so much that I wound up buying the rest of the line. And I also wound up buying an extra sample kit because I want to give it to one of you guys. I want you guys to try this line out. It's just, you know, there and it's nothing that this isn't something John asked me to do. This isn't something, you know, this is something that I wanted to do because of how much I like these, how unique they are, how beautiful they are, how well composed, how good they perform. Not hyping anything up, just want you guys to try it out. Damn, okay, I'm in. 
You taught me to release the sample. Yeah, I think even if, let's say if you didn't win this sample kit right now, um, the sample kits go for, I think $18 for this whole sample kit. And like I said, they're, they're decent sized sprayers. I mean, let me see if I can get one out. Uh, I don't want to open I don't want to open it up. I want this to be fresh, but they're about, hold on. They're about this size, guys. I got a box right here with a bunch of samples. They're about... These aren't specifically those samples, but these are the same kind of bottles they come in. They're about this size, which is a 2 mil sample. And that's a, that's a hefty amount. You'll, you'll definitely be able to get an idea. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. But, um... Yeah, any other questions that you guys have about the fragrances or about the house or anything? Not that I'm an expert by any means, but I try to do some research before I came live to you guys. Um, anything at all? Anything about me? You guys want to see something funny? You guys want to see something funny? I'll show you something. So, we all know that there's uh, people that throw boxes away. And people that don't. That is my collection of boxes <laughs> that I choose not to throw away. This one is new one that just got out of my collection. I'll be doing a review of that soon. But yeah, I, I, I choose not to throw my boxes away because they are part, to me, to me, they are part of this art. They're part of this whole experience you know what i mean it gives it more of a 3d effect i i save my boxes who got you interested most prominent person in your life that wore cologne um i tried him he's not bullshitting thanks nigel person that got me interested in fragrances was my dad i i look up to my dad like crazy i'm i'm I was raised very well. They were, you know, they both worked two, three jobs at some points to provide for the family. My dad used to always have these colognes. He would have like the, the he didn't go, he never got into niche at all. But I remember always looking up to him and he always had like the splash bottle of Pierre Cardon for him. Or he had a, you know, he wore that Bath and Body Works, um, the, the, the blue, bottle with the mountains on it he uh <laughs> good good bernie it's 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 part of the experience but he uh he inspired me you know what i mean i looked up to him so much and the first full bottle that i purchased myself the first full bottle i got was um pierre cardon for him was my, a gift set that my father gave me the first bottle of cologne that I bought. I was in high school and it was Aqua de Gio. <laughs> I bought Aqua de Gio for myself. I spent the money. I've worked since I was 13 and I used the money because I smelled that fragrance, saved up and I bought Aqua de Gio. That was my first full bottle designer purchase. Um, full first bottle niche purchase was every man's first full bottle niche purchase, which is Creed's Aventus. Alright. <laughs> Pretty sure that's every every man's first right now. Like every within the last ten years or last however long that fragrance has been out, that's been people's first niche fragrance buy-in. So that was mine. Um what about you guys? What was your guys' uh first bottle, first niche fragrance? I'm sweating my ass off. This thing is hot. Maybe take the shirt off. No. Nah. <laughs> Anybody, anybody have any of their uh, fragrances at all that they like? Or any of their first bottle choices? Hold on one second, guys. Nintendo Switch giveaway or I will call the cops. <laughs> yeah, try to, uh, try to snipe me. You guys don't know my address. Try to snipe me. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a, uh, a towel because I am hot underneath that light. <laughs> Hi, Gina. <laughs> I had a decant of Aventus for my first. Yes. 
Yes, that's uh, you know what? That's something that I wholeheartedly press. Try fragrances on. Try fragrances on before you buy. You see a lot. I mean, someone spent the money to brought that. Uh, someone spent the money to buy that new uh, Pacific Rock Moss. They had it for a couple hours, and within five hours, they had it for sale on one of the groups. Um, that bottle's about two hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars that he spent. That I guess he's trying to sell now because it wasn't something that he really liked. So. You know, try your fragrances out before you buy them. You know, try your fragrances out before you buy. Try. Oh, nice. I know that that's uh, Andy Tower. First, that's your first niche. First niche was Bond number nine. Number nine. Ven Adventures. Adventura. <laughs> You guys had some good niche first buys. Um, Le Air de Desert Moroccan was uh, was one of my first indie scents bought. And that thing, I think you know, is one of the most, I think, is one of my most artistic and one that I call a masterpiece. You don't hear me use that term a lot. I'm sorry that I'm sweating. First niece was Elixir by Penhaligans. Nice, nice one. That's right, we talked about that, Josh. We talked about that. I, I still haven't yet to try that one myself. Design was Brute. Niche, I think, was a sample of Reflection Man. Reflection Man is so universally liked. So universally liked. Um, yeah, so I... I'll show you guys a little bit of my collection. There's some in the closet that I've yet to open because I am choosing to hold off on them. But so I'll show you guys this. That's that's right, you did. So one of my curtains fell. I had to hang and uh, a girl left this blanket behind. So I had to hang that up to not let the light in <laughs> for right now until I get the curtains fixed. But so here is some of the stuff that I have. And this isn't me flexing by any means. Like I said, this was the newest acquisition, the Rosier Doves. And this one I bought because I am going to do a female review on this. This is by Nicki Minaj. Not sure how it smells at all. I'm going to try to do a, as you see, it's not open. Within the next one, two weeks, I'm going to try to do a blind review of this one see how it smells do a uh do a review for the three percent of females that are on my channel <laughs> you know it's that's I, I guess i appeal more to guys so <laughs> hey more men do reviews than female frags bro yeah and you know there's a couple of female frags that i have that i've uh gotta be reviewing um there's uh the dkny nectar love i believe i told you guys that before shit look i cut myself while i was shaving earlier <laughs> there's the uh dkny nectar love which was released last year which has great 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 appeal and i think it's a really lovely fragrance so i'm gonna do a review of that as well i have a couple of female fragrances here for uh i think you guys know for female friends that come over and want to try fragrances out. So yeah, there's a couple that I'm going to review. Um, other giveaways that I have for the future. I think we talked about this before in another video. I'm going to be doing the, uh, the gift set of uh, stash by SJP. I have a Lamal gifts, uh, a, a uh, ultra mile unopened can that I'll be doing a giveaway of. I have uh, a lot of times when I'm out, a lot of times when I'm out shopping and stuff like that, I'm not only looking for stuff for me. I'm, I'm looking for stuff that I can give to you guys too. So if I can get a deal on a fragrance, I wind up trying to pick two up. So I can have one for myself and I can have one to give away. You know, um, this whole experience would be nothing without the people that come here to watch. So it's not me 
I appreciate you guys. You know what I mean? You guys take time out to watch my videos. That blows. That still blows my mind. Whether you watch for 30 seconds or whether you watch the whole video, the fact that you guys take time out to watch um, amazes me. So it's the least that I can do for you guys give me time. Time is valuable. You know what I mean? That's not just a saying. That's 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 real. We get paid for our time and work. So it's something that I like doing. You know, I'm a, I'm I'm a fairly young channel. Fairly young channel and uh you know, but to be doing these kind of giveaways that I am at, at this stage of the game. People ask me why, and that's that's the reason I have is because I appreciate you guys. You know what I mean. So whether it's a nineteen bottle or you got or nineteen dollar bottle, whether it's a forty dollar thing that I got a deal on, I try to buy two. And like I said, I got that bottle of Ventus that I'm eventually going to be giving away too. Still don't really use it because I have ones that fill in that that purpose a lot. Lysium, you know, there's a lot that uh, I have two bottles of Ventus. Actually, I might have three bottles of Ventus now. So, yeah, um, Josh, you asked me about Midnight in Paris. Yes, yes, I did. I, I, I like Midnight in Paris. I don't love it. No, 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 I don't, I don't love it. Um, the crazy prices that it's going for, I wouldn't pay that. I wouldn't pay that. Do you think women look to reviews for what men like on women, like women do for I don't know. Huh. I I wouldn't be able to answer that. I don't know. I don't know, Bernie. Um, I guess there, I, I definitely think that there's a possibility that there's some might. But um, I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm not sure if they all do. Um, I'm going to do a full review of Ida Randler this week. This was just sort of like an intro thing for you guys to know... How I'm gonna do the giveaway? I'll explain the giveaway in that video too. I just wanted to see how this uh, interaction between us worked out. Like I thought this would be really cool. I wanted to chat with you guys, um, cause you know the videos are just usually one way. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the giveaway. I'm gonna be doing it. So I don't know when. I don't think it's gonna be the thousand sub mark, um, but soon. I mean, if you, like I don't touch it. I don't touch it. I have other ones that fill that that fill that need. And yeah, that's crazy that I'm giving a four hundred dollar bottle of cologne out. But you know, me either. The thing reach for anymore things. Give it away. Not sure if you someone would give. Yeah, you know what, Josh. That's a great point, and that's something that I thought about a lot too. And you know what? Ultimately, like, if someone doesn't have that, you know, um, want half an empty bottle, though. If someone doesn't have that, they'll appreciate that. I think you're talking about giving that away. Um, I have some Midnight in Paris EDT. If you want it, PM me. PM you. <laughs> I'll, let you I'll, let, I'll let you know, Bernie. I'll let you know. Or I don't know if you were talking to Josh in that, but uh, yeah. So, so a couple things that I have down the line. Do a R O R A O K in a group, folks. R A O K. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that was, was Gina. So. A couple things that I'm going to be having coming up. This week, I'm going to be having my top spring niche list. I'm going to be doing a couple of blind reviews from a couple of houses that I got samples from. Uh, I actually got a couple more giveaways. Oh, okay. Rack of Band of Kindness giveaway. You just give it away. You just give it away. I, I, I usually just give away my bottles all the time anyways I, I, that's I don't know how much kinder I don't know it's it's I, I've given stuff to a lot of people without them asking there's people here that would verify that 
there's other people that I've sent stuff to that uh you, you I mean there's there's people that would vouch that and I do that I do that a lot um but I like giving stuff away to my subscribers a lot as well cuz you guys definitely inspire me to keep doing this stuff um I have a couple full bottle giveaways coming up from some houses do you still rock old school frags old school is very subject subjective i guess um i rock fragrances that i've had for a long time folks who have stuff to oh okay oh you're talking to everybody else thank you gina <laughs> thank you um i have stuff from a long time ago um, but with the military and stuff like that, I lost a lot of my, uh, my fragrances actually, uh, throughout times that I've been in that stuff that you see over there, all that stuff was a year that, and the stuff that's in my closet that I haven't opened yet has been about a year's worth of buying. And that's the thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm 35 years old. Oh shit. I should have said how much, how old I am. <laughs> I'm a 35 year old single man you know what I mean don't have kids so I have the, the, I have the money to spend would I rather kids yeah I'd rather have kids than be able to spend money on you know what I mean or yeah I'd, but you know what I, I, I enjoy myself I'm concentrating on myself I look 22 I think that's the Asian <laughs> I think that's the Asian how many years and what branch of the military uh, I was in for a while I had uh I was in the Navy, so this is a weird thing to uh, explain. Uh, there's the Navy, and then there's the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps is actually a department of the Navy. I was a Navy corpsman, which is the Navy's version of a medic, but I did all my time with the Marine Corps. I, I, I wore the Marine Corps uniform. I learned everything that I could about the Marine Corps. I've basically been to two different boot camps. I went to a Navy boot camp and a Marine Corps style boot camp. And yeah, so I learned, I had to learn everything about the Marine Corps too. I have uh, been to Iraq and yeah, it was, it was a great experience. It made me a stronger person. There's, there was issues that came up afterwards after the, the military, but you know, it's all, I'm, I'm doing the best, you know, I'm, I'm living a happy life now. And, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. Late to the party. Nothing wrong to be single. <laughs> right? All right. Late to the party. We were talking earlier about January Scent Projects. Um, I'm doing a giveaway of the sample. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Um, I'm going to be doing a sample of their whole, whole lineup, which is uh, four, four fragrances in these nice size giveaway bottles. Um, this is just the announcement video. I wanted to touch base on one of the fragrances. I'll do a full review of it later on. But I wanted just to expose you guys to the house. This is the the gift set. I haven't opened it. This is one that I purchased myself to give away to one of you guys. Nice, nice, Josh. Yeah, you know, I I don't I I, I miss a lot of it. You know, I think you can tell by the way that I act. That's what this. Uh, that's what this tattoo is. It says uh, Angel of Mercy. That's a saying that the Marines called their corpsmen. The Marines called their medics. My scent of the day is actually Eider Antler by January Set Project. Um, this is just such a nice springtime fragrance. I still can't get over the color of this juice. I still can't get over that green color. This is so, this is so good. Like I said, opens up with that lavender, but it's not floor. It's not like overly floral. Just like a regular barbershop scent that has um, just this nice green. You can definitely tell that, like I said, he was inspired by like fresh ivy. You can tell that he was inspired by fresh cracked ivy. This is a great scent. But last couple minutes before questions or anything like that, you guys, what's going on with you? Uh, any ideas that you have or anything that you have, take care, Nigel. If you guys have any questions, like, yo, if you guys, if you guys are inspired, like, here's one thing. 
I never expected to have a, a hundred subs when I started in um, November. I never had it. I never expected to have a hundred subs, let alone six hundred. And that maybe seems something small, but that means everything to me because every single one matters to me. And if it's something that you plan on doing, go for it. If it's something that you want to do, and you ever have to ask anybody for anything reach out to people anybody like if you have a question and you reach out to me i will try to answer it to the best of my ability too and there was a lot of people that are in this community that will do that back and that's and now i'm speaking from experience people that have helped me out as well uh through my channel through the stuff that i provide you you it's it's you guys keep me going like i like oh cafe that's a that is a good one Fougier. <laughs> I recently hit my one year anniversary of making videos. I just hit over a hundred. Keep pushing people. Dude, and you know what? It's not, and you know what? Even if I still had a hundred, and Josh, I commend you on that. That's awesome. Even if I still had a hundred, it wouldn't stop me because you know what? I like, I love making these videos. It's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I like doing. I look forward to to doing these i look forward to doing these as much as i look forward to going to the gym and i think you guys know fragrance but hey chris can we sponsor a giveaway for you sometime new startup too oh yeah hey uh hit me up in uh my messages what is that fragrance split yeah hit me up in uh in a personal message on youtube we'll we'll see i'll see what you have to offer and then we we can talk there um but yeah, it's been it's been a great ride. If you ever want to do it yourself, I suggest go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. It's it's fun. It's fun to do. And there's always going to be people that comment negative stuff and all that. It doesn't I think you guys know the negative stuff doesn't phase me. It doesn't doesn't bother me. I don't pay that stuff any mind. You guys that comment like all the cool stuff that 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 matters to me. That's what makes like this fun. So I'm going to re wrap this up. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review of this stuff, guys. January 7 projects. Go check them out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which of the fragrances that you'll like. Go like John. Go like uh, January 7 project on Facebook. Go like them on Instagram. Let me know which ones that you guys are interested in trying. All right. So I, I guys, I, I really appreciate anybody that watched. After this video was posted, hey, hey, what's going on, Max? I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Like, you know, I want to do this live, and I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try to do more, more live. Yo, what's going on, Josh? I got to watch your video, Josh. I just saw that it came out. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. So, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, like I said, posting this video. Go check out January Sam Project. Let me know which ones. Most overrated niche house to you. You know, that's something that's I haven't tried every niche house to answer, so I don't know. There's some that some that definitely get more hype than others. I'm I'm not a hype train kind of person. That's that's the thing. There's ones that I've loved that got me into stuff, but um I, I try not to ride a hype train. I, I try to sample things and try things out before. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Pacific Rob Moss is definitely my favorite. <laughs> definitely, and you know that Pacific Rob Moss. If you saw that video, I liked it, but I, I wouldn't buy it. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Try it yourself. Definitely try it yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check them out. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Remember, like I said, every single one matters every single one matters every single one of you guys matter thank you smolder rose is great gina love you guys and as always and most importantly go frag yourselves